This is something that I've long waited for, the long-awaited return of Driver, the video game series. I got the uh, Driver San Francisco game for the PlayStation 3 and also the Wii. The PlayStation version is the direct sequel to Driver 3, which came out in 2000, 2004, I believe it was. Whereas the um, Wii version is a, is a prequel to the original game on PlayStation, the old PS1. Not much more to say. The, uh, let's, see what, let's see what it's got then. I'll give the fanboy in there. Apparently the um, PlayStation version has extra cars and extra features and... Hang on. Okay, off that comes. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh dear. I was supposed to take off the box. <laughs> oh well, let's see what we've got then. Off of this plastic. Okay. Oop. Okay. Nice little display case, at least. And, well, comes with the car. Does this come off? Oh, yeah, it's strapped to it. It's pretty cool, the car there. Oh, if you look closely, you can actually see the newspaper. The newspaper has the original driver game on the headlines there. I'm sure you can see that? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Now, this car was originally supposed to be featured in the, um, in the first driver game on PlayStation, but apparently they they went with a black Ford Mustang because they felt this yellow canary car, as they put it, didn't seem to fit well with the original dark atmosphere of the first driver game. But uh, now they brought it back for this long-awaited uh, Driver San Francisco game. So looks they actually they did have a Dodge Challenger in um, Driver Two, but you know there was one of them cars that you just steal at random, you know, so it could become in any color. And obviously you got the driver game as well for the PlayStation 3. As Detective John Tanner, go undercover on a relentless manhunt. Experience the thrill of the chase, classic movie car chases, and blah blah blah. As I said, this one is the um, the sequel to Driver 3. This one is the prequel to Driver 1. Now what's this? It's also a Ooh, a DC comic book. DC comic book. This should be interesting. Two years ago, I died. And yet you're still able to speak. <laughs> this should be interesting. Have a look at this ladder. And, oh yeah, a map of... I think this is a map of San Francisco. Oh yeah, they used to have these in um, in uh, GTA as well. They have these in GTA too. Oh. Impressive. Pretty elaborate. Pretty elaborate city there. I remember the first in the first game they had uh, in the first game they had San Francisco, but the city was a lot smaller than this. Here's the Golden Gate Bridge. I remember. Okay, you cross the Golden Gate Bridge, and there's just like like. Uh, just, just about five or so blocks that you could just drive on, you know, it's a simple little square with, with a crossroad in the centre, there wasn't much to explore, but here they've got an elaborate whole new section of the of the city, it's amazing. Interestingly, where was that? When this was first advertised, it said there was going to be for the, um, you could use the actual Wii wheel as well, but here it just says you can just you have the, the Wii remote and the Wii nunchuck. I'm not sure why the DS is advertised there too, but I have to take a look at that. Hopefully they still can. Hopefully they still have the the wheel, the wheel option. But um, let's find out, I guess. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the Driver San Francisco Collector's Edition. Well, complete edition, I should say, because I got the Wii version as well as the PS3 version. Xbox is the same as the um, as the uh, PS3 version. So, yep, that's the complete edition. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a game to play.